They're a bridge over troubled waters, hoping they soon come. Tear-soaked pages of a manuscript of a book he hopes to publish and soon sell. These are the remembrances of a man on the wayward path, staring at the ceiling of a prison cell. He asked the Lord for forgiveness, and then he asked him to watch over his daughter, his brother, and his mom. Prayer gets him through the day. It's because at night, he needs to let the poetry escape from the pen in his palm. See, lights out means nothing because he'll just use the guard's nightlight to let the poetry continue. And in the dark, men meet for clandestine reasons, but the metaphor and hyperbole help him ignore what they're getting into. First, it starts out with one, then a few, then several inmates ask him to pin poems for the people in their lives, and now what once was a hobby to pass time while doing time will become his destiny realized. He is transferred to another hell, simply a lower level, because he still has to account for his sins. He is still surrounded by devils. But now the pen becomes dormant because employment and economics are what is stressed by the spouse. And it's ironic that she wants to share money because eventually they won't share the same house. And the constant conflict causes confusion between the chase for the green paper and the pen's ink. But as anyone knows, Poetry has a sweet siren soprano that calls out to a poet that makes the distance between his fingers and the pen start to shrink. The day comes when he is no longer a prisoner. Call him a free man. He walks out of hell's gates, sins accounted for, smile on his face, pen in his hand, and a poet is born. My poem. <laughs> 